great people welcome back to mind your finance anything in your life that is a limited resource is something that you need to manage because saying yes to something means implicitly saying no to the other opportunities everything as a trade-off that brings me to our today's topic which is self-discipline but before i go deep uh, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have not watched previous sessions, then you can as well watch the five episodes we've done before. Let's get started. This is the principle of self-discipline. It's to you, your development in all areas or all angles. So I'm going to share eight most important areas you need to apply self-discipline. The first one is your tongue. Now, now you need to understand and apply self-discipline by acquiring the habit of thinking first, then speaking. So you ensure that before you speak, before you react to anything, you think first then you speak. So that needs self-discipline. Then the second area is now tendency to strike back to the people you have grievances with. So if you feel you must strike back at anyone who does something which you don't like, then do not speak fast. Try as much as you can to, you can write it down or wait until things are calm so that you can strike or share or make them know whatever they did or they air the grievances now when you are calm and collected then the third area you really need to apply this is emotions particularly emotions of love fear and hate now these emotions can make you or break you according to the discipline you apply so ensure you apply a lot of self-discipline when it comes to your emotions then the fourth area is mental attitude now lack of or failure to apply self-discipline in your mental attitude will drive away friends and destroy opportunities so ensure that you're very keen in that area then the fifth area is the emotion of sex yes i said emotion of sex it is the most powerful of all emotions it is uh, nature's greatest creative instrument with which all sp species of living things are perpetuated now the proper means of self-discipline of the emotion of sex is transmutation now the control of direction the control and direction of this great emotional feeling towards the attainment of worthy purpose such as the fulfillment of one's major in life now the great the great leaders great artists writers uh, industrialists and professional people have learned that um, I've learned that art of sex transmutation through the proper system of self-discipline. Because of the de delicacy of the, the subject of sex emotion, I'm limited as to the information I can give. And I'll end it at that. So just ensure that you, you, you apply a lot of self-discipline when it comes to the emotion of sex. Now the sixth one is apply that to your stomach. Yeah, Your stomach also needs discipline through the proper habit of dieting and fasting. So apply it in that area. Then the seventh one is... The, this seventh one is very delicate and very you might you need to handle it with a lot of care apply self-discipline in the re, when it comes to religion and politics our society is made up of uh, people 
of varying beliefs in connection to both religion and politics. So to be, to be happy and prosperous in, in life, we must learn to give other, others the privileges we ask and demand for ourselves. And um, this often calls for strict self-discipline over self. So when it comes to matters, politics and religion, apply a lot of restraints and self-discipline. The last one in my list is uh, taking, when, when it comes to taking possession of your own mind and directing it to wherever ends you may desire. And this requires self-discipline. So ensure that you apply a lot of self-discipline when it comes to directing your mind where you want and taking possession of your mind. So the last statement I'll make is self-discipline is the only means of transferring sorrow into faith. Say, thank you so much for staying with us. I hope you've learned something. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.